How do you adequately explain that to chat GPT? Is there some kind of copy and paste formula? It's like, boom, you put that in, then you paste in the numbers. Tell me if it's a good deal or not. I guess in order to analyze a deal, it first needs to understand like, what is a deal? Like, what do you want? Are you analyzing vacant land? Are you analyzing a multifamily apartment building? What are you trying to do? So I think my understanding is that like, it's really important to understand how to prompt it right. That's really the success to everything. It's like telling it what you want and being really specific. And when it gives you a result that isn't really what you want, like tell it that, like tell it that it's not right and why it's not right and what you're actually looking for. Or if it gives you like, you know, general instructions on how to do something, but it's missing a lot of specifics, ask it for more specifics. Like explain this for me. Give me a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this one thing that you mentioned in your response. So in terms of like analyzing a deal, do you have any like uh, pre-made prompts or anything? Like say if you're trying to analyze a rental property to see if it has a uh, sufficient cash flow or something, how do you adequately explain that to chat GPT? Is there some kind of copy and paste formula? It's like, boom, you put that in, then you paste in the numbers. Tell me if it's a good deal or not. I don't know if you've thought through it that much, if you have that much organization to how you do it, but any thoughts on that? Yeah, that's a great question, Seth. You know, for me, I haven't necessarily come up with a specific prompt. And the reason why is because ChatGPT will fill in the blanks to a certain extent, right? If you tell it explicitly what you want as an outcome, you're like, all right, I'm looking for an investment property that has three bedrooms, two baths. I want to put down 20% and I want to be able to cash flow at least three to $400 every single month after principal interest and tax then it's going to spit out something very specific based on what you ask. Now, if you don't know to ask it that specifically, right? Maybe you're a new investor and you don't even know to think about principal interest payments and debt service and taxes, right? Or insurance, right? Then it's going to say, all right, well, here's the general numbers, but have you considered the principal payments and the interest and the taxes and all those things? And then you're like, oh, okay, let me go find that, right? Or if you're not familiar with the term, you can be like, what's this principal and interest thing? And they're like, okay, well, this is your mortgage, right? And this is what you're going to have to pay you know, on a monthly basis. And so you want to factor this into your monthly cash flow. So that's why the great thing about ChatGPT is that it will prompt you if you're asking the right things, if you're thinking about what your outcome is, and then you're asking it more and more questions, it'll interact with you in that regard. And so that's why it's so powerful. This is why the AI is so powerful is because it's able to interact with you dynamically versus us having to just, you know, program it explicitly. And so there are certain times though, where you want to be very specific, right? And yes, if you had the prompt set up from the get-go and said, here's all the variables and you feed it all at once, then of course you're going to get the a better output, you know, quicker and faster. However, you know, it's a great learning tool just as an investor, just to go in and just start learning by doing, and it's going to just fill in those gaps before, you know, back in the day, Seth, Ajay, I think you're pretty young, but like, you know, back in the day, we had to actually read books, right? And we had to like actually get on our pencils and paper and <laughs> fill in the deal, the deal <laughs> numbers and, and figure it out with the calculator. But then of course the internet came along and we got, you know, web applications. And, and so this is the next step, right? Is to be able to use AI to interact, you know, directly. One of the other cool things on a related note that I just did actually yesterday was I'm looking at a syndicated deal. And so they do this prospectus and they do this pro forma or whatever. And so they put it into PDF format. And with ChatGPT, there's these different plugins that you can use to actually go in and analyze the PDF. PDF. So for example, I said, okay, here's the link to the PDF. I want you to give me the summary of this entire deal and explain it to me on a very basic level. So it goes in, it gives me the highlights of the deal, everything that I'm looking at, shows me the equity split. But the great thing about that is like, if some of that is not very familiar to you, you can be like, well, you know, explain to me the equity split, right? And it starts educating you on what that looks like and how it usually is broken out and different things. And so again, as an investor, the more information we have, the better you know educated decisions we can make and the more likelihood that we're gonna get you know a decent return over time. So yeah, being able to use this AI is just really changing the game in terms of educating ourselves, of getting back quality information, and then ultimately being able to get to a decision faster so that we can execute quicker than you know everyone else.